Official inflation numbers came in hotter than the fajita plate at the restaurant. We discuss what this means for the Bitcoin bull market and the broader macro economy. Plus, in another example of saying the quiet part out loud, Gary Gensler calls the US dollar and the US treasury system a pyramid. So we zoom out, take a look at the data, and show you where this scheme is headed. And finally, breaking news everybody, Bitcoin's inflation number is in, hot off the press. Oh wait, it's been written in code since 2009. In case you were wondering, there is a news conference being held at block 840,000. Welcome to the Bitcoin Daily Show. I'm Dante Cook, head of Swan Business. Today's CPI inflation number came in hotter than the Warriors, who hit 26 threes to beat the Lakers last night. This is the fourth straight month where the CPI number came in hotter than expected at almost 3.5%, which is hotter than February at 3.15% and January at 3.09%. This is the highest reading since September of last year. And as you can imagine, this is bad news for Joe Biden and his chances for re-election. And today, he took to the podium to announce that he projects that there will be Fed cuts later this year. Well, I do stand by my prediction that before the year is out to be rate cut. This may delay it a month or so. I'm not sure of that. I don't, we don't know what the Fed is going to do for certain. We'll see if the Fed's policy is truly independent of the federal government. Sure, the major culprit for inflation is shelter and home prices. But take a look at some of these other numbers. They will probably shock you. Or not, if you've actually been living in the real world and paying bills. Car insurance inflation came in at over 22%. Transportation inflation came in at 10.7%. Car repairs came in at 8.2%. Hospital services inflation came in at 7.5%. Homeowner inflation came in at 5.9%. Rent inflation came in at 5.7%, electricity inflation at 5%, food away from home at 4.2%. So you're telling me that if you don't have a car, if you don't have a car that's insured, if you don't drive a car, if you don't pay for health care, if you don't pay for food, or if you don't pay for rent or for shelter, then you're doing just fine. And this isn't on the chart here, but look at the price of eggs. They've gone up from just over $2 a carton to almost $3 a carton since 2015. How is a brother supposed to get his protein in the morning? A JP Morgan analyst claims that high interest rates is actually what's driving the higher CPI numbers. I hadn't really considered this, but he has a point. Because interest rates are so high, homes are now more unaffordable than they were in the past, which for people that want to sell a home, they don't want to sell the home because they have a lower interest rate some of them at 2 and 3%. And the people that want to buy a home are now able to afford less house with interest rates so high. So what's the result? Home prices are staying elevated because there are no sales happening and there are no homes changing hands. Speaking of JP Morgan, and yet another data leak that proves the corruption of our economy and of our government at the highest levels. Emails leaked that there were 50 super users, including JP Morgan, Blackstone, Citadel, Millennium Partners, and some of the other biggest asset managers in the world that were leaked private insider inflation data before the rest of the market. Although this is not surprising to many people, it's still frustrating. We've talked about the Cantillion effect before, which means those closest to the money printing and closest to the money creation are the ones that benefit the most, and the people furthest away from the money printing are the ones that benefit the least. That's why the wealth of the top 1% hit $44 trillion at the end of last year. This small group of people collectively hold 30% of the nation's wealth. And it's not just rich people relative to poor people who benefit the most. The United States dollar, being the global reserve currency of the world, benefits disproportionately relative to other countries and other currencies. It's a pyramid scheme. And if you think the word pyramid is too strong, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler actually calls the U.S. dollar and the U.S. Treasury system a pyramid. Literally. Listen for yourself. If you pull a one dollar bill out of your pocket, what do you see on the reverse? The great seal of the United States, the eagle on the right and the pyramid on the left. The capital markets play an integral role in preserving the dollar 
as the dominant world currency, and that dominance benefits all of us. It means lower cost for borrowing, not only for the U.S. Treasury, but also for everyone else borrowing in dollars. And to preserve that dominance, the capital markets must have a safe, liquid, and reliable asset in which to invest. That's where the $27 trillion treasury markets come in. They're the base of the pyramid of our capital markets. And even the base of a pyramid can get shaky at times. The system right now isn't like a pyramid where there's a strong base at the bottom and only a few people who benefit at the top. It's more like an upside down pyramid where the decisions of a few people impact everyone globally. It's very clear that centralized decision making don't work in a decentralized, connected, and global world that we are currently living in. Let's just look at the markets as a small example. Bonds are trading like rates are hiking. Gold is trading like rates are being cut. Stocks have crazy volatility as the VIX is up 30% from its lows in January. Oil is trading like there's no recessions, and home prices are elevated as if rates were still low. I mean, even look at the 10-year Treasury yield which had its third highest rise ever. To put this into perspective, this is the same amount that the treasury yield rose when COVID-19 happened in the world. But in the midst of all of this chaos, you know what's safe, liquid, and reliable, like Gary Gensler mentioned in his video? Bitcoin. The CEO of Bitcoin has announced that they will make their announcement on the latest inflation print at block 840,000 at the next upcoming halving. And speaking of the halving, I wanted to clarify something that I said yesterday. Bitcoin's subsidy does stop at 21 million. Well, not exactly. It's 20,999,999.9769 Bitcoin. But we round up to 21 million. It sounds way better. And in the year 2140, at the 32nd halving, the subsidy for Bitcoin miners will be just one Satoshi. And in a world where there's no block subsidy rewards, Bitcoin miners will primarily make their revenue from transaction fees. Remember when I mentioned the price of eggs earlier in the episode? Well, look at the price of eggs when denominated in Bitcoin. I always appreciate that Dr. Jeff Ross shares the humble egg chart to remind us of what's truly important in the world. The longer you stack and save in Bitcoin, the cheaper life becomes. The more you save and stack in fiat currency, the more expensive your life becomes. Swan's mission is to help millions of people get into Bitcoin. And now, with the new updates that we've made, introducing friends and family to Bitcoin has never been easier. Swan recently made a huge overhaul and upgrade to its infrastructure and onboarding, allowing you to onboard in about two minutes. And here's the kicker. Swan is now by far the cheapest place to buy Bitcoin, as there is no fees, I repeat, No fees on your first $10,000 of trading in the Swan app. And if you're already a Swan customer, don't worry. You won't pay any fees on your next $10,000 in purchases. When we say we do what's right for Bitcoin and Bitcoiners, we mean it. So get on your phones, go to the App Store, and search for Swan Bitcoin in whatever App Store that you use, whether it's iOS or Android. Download the app and start buying Bitcoin in about two minutes please share the timestamp of how long it took you in the comments. Or if you have other questions once you get into the Swan app, maybe you want to learn more about Bitcoin, you can go to the swan.com slash welcome to Bitcoin course, where you can go from new learner to novice and expert in just 60 minutes. Or you can always send me an email at daily at swanbitcoin.com. I legitimately love responding to every one of these emails when people send them and lending a helpful hand to people on their Bitcoin journey. And with that, we're signing off for the day. This is Dante Cook with Swan.com. Happy stacking. 10K, no fees, baby. I'll see you at the mountaintop.